Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the July 17th edition of Puzzle Wednesday. We are here today with Puzzle Fighter, Puzzle Fighter 2 Prime, the rebalanced version with all of the changes from HD Remix. So, well, you could call it Puzzle Fighter because we have a scary amount of competitors. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, Kaya turned into a robot. <laughs> well, joining me tonight on the microphone, I have Juicy and the legendary Kaya7, who does much of our art. You will see some of their art here, I believe. You did the um, Puzzle Fighter background, right? Uh, yeah, the, uh, Dan one. Yep, the Dan one. Or, that was originally for the, uh, Z mode, so I made it very Goku-ish. Ah, that and explains it. And it's it. still the same one we use to this day, just without the Z. I forgot that's the first instance I commissioned it for, because, like, we had done other puzzle fighters, but... Yeah, that... Anime energy makes more sense now. I can't believe Oz didn't make it here on time tonight. Yeah. There are many different flavors of Street or of Puzzle Fighter. Sorry. Um, and yes, we will be playing the Rebalance X Prime. So don't worry, you won't be hearing Ken's music all night. Fingers crossed. But I mean, done... this is like the sixth bracket of this that we've done, and Honestly, it feels like outside of like Dan and Felicia, everyone's punching above their weight comparatively. Maybe Morgan's kind of whatever, but that takes maybe one and a half character and spreads it to like six. So I don't know. It's been interesting. Yeah, we will have a healthy mix of contenders here tonight. Anyway, if you're not in the Discord, you should be. That's where we go ahead and uh, do all of our match calling. And hopefully, we should be getting underway with that soon. Uh, tip your waiter and waitress tonight. Notester and Raspberry Flu for doing the match calling for tonight. And we super appreciate them for it. Indeed. These tournaments couldn't run without our fantastic TOs behind the scenes. <sighs> yep, God it bless. takes a lot of people to keep the puzzle ship afloat. Strict filter Oz has been with us since we before we even had a puzzle Wednesday as a name. Oh, looks like <laughs> looks like I'm gonna be up first. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, he's, he's royalty. He uh, Oz made our logo actually. The the not quite super turbo. <laughs> oh yeah, the one we're looking at right now. Something like that. Oh, we're not on the actual background yet? Nope. Okay. <laughs> First wave of match calls we have oh, our there's a streamer boy, there's Big Billy One Slice versus Jackie Nuts. <laughs> All right, getting into it now. Well, you know me, Big Billy One Slice. There's only one character I can pick. I mean, yes, Chun. Go, gotta it. go for that max damage, baby. Seeing as uh, God HG Remix feels like a relic at this point. You can still technically buy it. I did not know that. Not going for the all oh, clear yeah. start. Uh, I was going for the all clear. I'm just bad. <laughs> not good at the all clear start. <laughs> um, The biggest thing that John has going for this is she keeps her original damage pattern. It's still highly counterable. 
but she does a lot more damage. So, you know, Raz was comparing, like, first strike. you have one good button, you're just fishing for SA2. I kind of liken it to Ultras and 4, but you really just need to live long enough to build enough to rubber man back and ruin their lives. Speaking of which, Decca already has a giant red option. All we're really doing at this point is waiting for Diamond to help him get down to the bottom. Yes, that Diamond will come every 25 pieces for each player. He cashed that at a deficit and is still killed. God bless chun -Li. Um, When we were still getting a lot of people from the actual original Puzzle Fighter lobby, Chun was the one that people um, kind of gravitated to at first because you can kind of play a very basic game with her and just get higher reward. But, you know, if you can stall her out, it's easier and easier to maintain the offense against her because she gives you, like, Two by two blocks of green, red, um, blues. So, not saying you can't come back from disadvantage hell, but the first time that you do like just short of game ending damage, you're on the back foot for a while. Yeah, it's it's not quite Dan level, but you know it it's it's on the scale. I kind of liken it to forcing other people to play Dan's game plan. Because in original Puzzle Fighter, uh, if you're playing Dan, you just better fucking kill your opponent. One shot. Waste no time. And I'm playing Chun, you're hanging them on to like, finish things in your first interaction, or it's going to be hell from there. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm sorry, Oz. Felicia is still bad. My condolences. Okay. Decca can still get out of here. It's a little tight, but, you know, wait for a diamond. Destroy everything. I can't get it. I, I just not enough space. <sighs> Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Felicia is nominally better, but only that her counter isn't as free. But otherwise, she's she's just kind of bad. Yeah, it's more nothing specifically terrible, but everyone else is so much better than. Look, I don't remember when there was an old Game Facts document and someone rated Felicia lower than Dan because at least Dan had business being bad. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Okay, so we're already seeing where, uh, you know, the fault of mice and men lay here. Um, yeah, we've got a whole bunch board. of blues. and That's going to be so free. We just need a green. Blue already set off, so we're going to get a little bit of chain action. Yeah, that, yeah. that screen looking like a uh, one of those old tube televisions, if you look at it too close, with all those ribboning greens and reds and blues. Hey, Decca, we don't have stream audio or game audio. We should have game audio. It's, I don't know why we don't. That's annoying. Well, I can't fix that right now. Yeah, we're going to have to wait on that, but. I can uh, hum if you'd like. Uh, da, da, I don't know why. Da, 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 it doesn't get picked up sometimes, but it doesn't. Ken. 
man. It's not even his level. Um, Ken doesn't really get any changes in this game, but that doesn't stop him from being fundamentally a decent pick. You can still run the bracket like you're playing normal Puzzle Fighter and still get a lot of mileage. Super Art 2, the music. Okay. Decca's in a weird position here. We have Blue as kind of a way out, but we're not sending kill damage on anything. What are we going to choose to spend? Diamond on Blue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jackie looking to have a Daigo 37 moment here against Decca in this round. Looking to close up the set. There's nothing connecting to the center reds there, yeah. No one's in a bad position here, but we at least have the blues on Jackie Nutt's side a little bit blocked off. Chooses to not make that into a chain, so deck is going to take that round. It's crazy to me just how much more life they managed to inject into the art and like pixel or sprites in a uh, pocket fighter after this. Cause not like they don't nail the aesthetic here. Everyone looks good. But if you had to compare the flying song song in the background here from the one in po uh, pocket fighter. Day and yeah. night difference. That looks like the Sun Sun that would be a playable uh, mystery block <laughs> character in Mario Maker. God. Uh, we're both banking on the column one and two giant red. And Decca mm. cashing in. I cashed in because I knew if he hit too. me, I was in a bad place. I needed to I go first. Right. All of that ended in a trade of one damage twice over. All right. And... Uh... Mm -hmm. Jackie, uh, she's looking at a almost all clear board here. Oh, not quite. Piling on here. Getting some greens going and some blues. That is the problem that like once that once you know like which co which side, which color the garbage is landing, you can just press those uh, crash blocks there and just wait. Yeah, I mean... A lot of the character balance hopes to alleviate that, but like it's hard to do with someone like Ken. It's really hard with like Devilot and Akuma. Yeah. And that's but it's real easy against Chun Li, which is the uh which is why Jackie has been. been able to get so many uh comebacks that yeah, we're still on round two. Sheesh. Somewhere in the vision and playtesting, they must have thought that Ken's pattern was easier than it actually ended up being, with everyone else having, like, obvious counterplay. Decca's not playing fast enough to really get an out here, and nothing's really grouping. Oh, those so reds not coming up at a convenient time, but it. is it enough? Yep. I did not okay. get. Oh wait, we're still in. Oh, I yeah, he's yeah one, one more. <laughs> she still needs one more round. <laughs> all right, both players setting up the reds all the way to the left side of the board, and. Yellow's pretty close. Looking like a uh, looking like a hot dog. At least Jackie's got the security that like Chun's damage will extend that. Ken, not as likely. Okay, we took a risk there, but I agree with it completely. We got to tank a little bit of damage. Oh, it killed! Wow, damn. 
Well, spoilers. Rip. Damn, it did kill though. I just played too slow. That's. I think that's so much like what catches people on this is the right right placements are a suggestion through a lot of this game. But the biggest opponent is giving your opponent so many extra turns. Yeah, because each turn gets you one closer to that diamond. Yeah, I died with it. I mean, yeah, one. honestly. That's a big part of it. Yeah, the meta has shifted for better or worse to get to that diamond as soon as you can, please. Never hurts. And, oh, you yeah. have to fix the audio. Why is it not working? Next, mm. Next stream match is going to be Strict Filter and Jacob Drag. I need to... I'm wondering what uh, Strict Filter is going to go with after the admission of considering a Felicia now, but... Like, again, really the only out-and-out -out struggle picks are going to be Dan and Felicia. Food for think. Given how much uh, runes made her work, and I'm shame I'm a little disappointed he wasn't here tonight. Um, Sienko feels like she might be one of the stronger picks. Because her counter pattern ends up with like four bespoke colors all in the same column. Where uh, are the top out column? Which means your down stacking is gonna be rough. Sienko and Sakura. Yeah, we haven't had much of a chance to see any of the uh, players with particularly uh, nasty garbage yet. Maybe we will. Any, uh, yeah, we will definitely see some Akuma later. They very popular character in this version. Fantastic. I love when he gets so mad that he gets words on his jacket. It's like, so cool. I too love words on my jacket. Anyway, I gotta go play one match for you right now. Good luck. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, Sienko, oh. secret top tier, maybe. Our regular, um, who hasn't been around in a little bit. But uh, a mini tournament winner, um, Rune, reps this character in this version of the game to great success. Uh, yes, well, that, that's just part of the course for Rune. Yeah. If he picks a character and wins with them, I'm inclined to believe that they're strong. Yep, they automatically jump up one tier. <laughs> yeah, more or less. The rune bump. And Jacob looking to bump that board down a couple. Oh, I'm getting that blue. Alright, it's gonna be a big red hit, depending on how this resolves. Oh no, it isn't. The red's kind of just fizzled out there. All right, there's the big red. Oh, and that is a very large. Oh, and Jacob Drag is just gonna throw in the towel there. Okay. Which brings us to round two. And for all of you in the chat, uh, Feel free to uh, make predictions for who's winning these matches. Uh, you can wager the uh, the little uh, ELO currency on the bottom of your uh, screen. It's pretty much the only thing you can use it for, so, you know, have, have fun responsibly with all that. Um, who knows? You could be a, an ELO millionaire. Not financial, 
Oh, that's gonna kill. Oof! Yeah, unfortunately, Strict Filter building a little too high in that column four. Paying for it with the sudden spike of damage. It's funny you mentioned that we don't have many uses for our elo because I have amassed over 130,000 of it. Yeah, it... I'm down to 108 myself. I've been making some foolhardy wagers to try to prime the pumps. We need Will It Kill Puzzle Edition. Yeah, I, where I, we I put two chains that. against each other and see who wins. It, here's, here's the crazy thing. I, I wagered a seven grand on the uh, on that last match on DECA and nobody wagered on Jackie, which is why I wanted to mention it on the uh, Jackie. Ah, yes. There. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so nobody wound up winning that. I don't think I got it back. <laughs> Machine ate my quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wins, but you lose. It's it's uh, good for the economy, I guess. The literal definition of a money sink. Wait, enough about that, we have diamonds going off and blues and a, and a big All right. streak on Straked with a, with a hit coming in. Unfortunately, not going to be too lethal. And then we have a very... We have a, we have, we have a duck's back on Jacob's side of the board. Yes, they have uh, a lot of access to their blues and they're going to get... Oh, okay. Alright, that green's gonna be nice. Alright, big commit on the blue. That's 33. Oh. Ooh, and the shape of Strict stack is gonna make this a little awkward. That's very checkerboarded. Oh, but it collapses oh. into place a little bit with that submarine. Yeah, oh, but space is running thin, and placing those pieces in column four is going to cost Strict the game. Well, that was more alternating red and blues in that Porygon episode. <laughs> Alright, let's see where we're at in this match. Right, Jacob just pulled ahead one game, so we're at round one of game two. Alright. I mean... <sighs> Soccer is still a character that's really easy to pull a fast one on with smart diamond usage. Even if it's a little more convoluted, all you need to do is delete the blue or the red. Yeah, you, you, you pick one and delete the other, and then you hit them with the, uh, with the, cra the crash gem of the other flavor, and then they kind of just get wombo comboed. Yes. She was like... higher tier because she at least took a little extra consideration to blow up. But, boy howdy, she still gets blown up. And those greens getting deleted off of Jacob's side. Is that going to be enough? No, not yet. Not My condolences. Strict Filter is swimming in advantage here, but we're just playing a little too slow to actually utilize it. Alright, here we go. Oh, Diamond. Diamond can use, oh, use no. it on the greens. I kind of like okay. it. Everything else is all linked up now. There's no real strong... Okay, we can cash in blues. Yeah, there's a rich vein of yellows that goes all the way to the bedrock. Alright. That last little bit of damage coming in, really putting Jacob on the back foot here. That could close it out. Oh, it offsets. And these reds will help to downstack. And then we have a big hit on green with... 
Into a three chain. Well, as soon as Strict Filter gets a, uh, a diamond, though, this could turn into a real turnaround. Oh, but that's a big 25. Oh, and that's enough. Yeah, it's easy to dig, but you gotta find your shovel first. Yeah. Jacob looking to clinch a second game here in the set. Um, I want to single this out because this was asked in chat, but DJ Otters asked, "Are harassment or pokes a bad idea for this game?" And the broad strokes answer I gave is it depends. But so much of it kind of comes down to your damage pattern, um, or if you have a damage scaling effect or not. Uh, Donovan's a character that, like, his first two lines are horrific, and then he gives you free two-by-twos if he hits too hard. Yeah, some, but, um, some characters are definitely a lot better at poking than others. Some characters have, like, windows where they want to poke, like sending certain amounts is good, but more or less is bad. Tienko also gets some mileage off of poking. And then there's some characters that, like, lose mileage. Ken's not good if you don't hit for more than two lines. But then if you hit for more than two lines, it feels really bad. <laughs> yeah. Then again... Oh, tech bonus. God bless them. We had a lot of Felicia players in bracket tonight already. <laughs> I, I don't know how to put it into words other than she's just not really good at anything. I know Oz... I know Oz may want to hurt me after that, but... Uh, tech is just a point bonus for discarding your diamond on an empty part of the board. Yeah, and generally not something you want to do. It's a, it's a little bit of a waste. Yeah, I don't think anything really is based on the score. Nah. Uh, uh, moral is victory is based on the score. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like, there's no, like, tiebreakers or anything. Really. I'm not super familiar with this game. This game. Well, you're in good company, because I'm not familiar with this game either. Oh, here we go. All clear. Uh, oh. And that's enough. All clear gaming. Who is it we were watching who got like six in one round? In, in a... It was a recent one, but I don't yeah. remember. It. Yeah, you're going to want to go for... Either huge committal pokes like diamond shape or uh, gem shapes are like three by three or bigger, or you want to kind of go chain game. No one's no one's really doing all that well except for Donovan. If you're only sending like one or two lines at a time, I don't know what tech bonus does. It does nothing. It's technically impressive. But you know what? Yes. Fair enough. Anyway, we have Notester82 and Afro Lord next. Nice. And for the points. All right. Note versus Afro Lord. I didn't even know that Magic Tetris Challenge had a scoring system. I, you should just always cash in the diamond for damage. Even if it's a little. Maybe someday Note will get to play his game.
Honestly, yeah. The the one real utility tech bonus might have is um, get you, you on don't... Street Fighter Six leaderboard for the game. And even then, big chains are still probably better. I guess hey. it could it could have the um. It could have a use in if you're at like a weird spot on your board and you just popped like a bunch of your damage and you don't want to just send like a small poke. One sec. We're not getting a response from Notes opponent yet, so I think for right now we're going to go ahead and stream uh, Lu Sentai and Jacob Drag. Which, I you wish... know, Jacob I... Drag and Double Jeopardy, but... I wish Jacob Drag luck. <laughs> At the same I mean, time. Oh, time. wait, never mind. There. Oh. Afro Lord has arrived. arrived. All right, last second there. <laughs> Lucentai definitely plays a number of puzzle games, though, but we met him through uh, Puzzle Fighter primarily. He's always on pretty solid. As soon as they're in. Uh, they're not in anymore. Oh. There we go. There we go. Every once in a while, the game seems to crash on the first boot. It's kind of strange. All right, let's see who, right. we, who gets... Picked today. I mean, it seems like Sanko Felicia, but. Yep, looks like it's gonna be Sanko Felicia. People really like the cat girl. I don't know what to say to that. So, like, Nya. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Would a cat girl wear headphones like this, or like this? Cats just like headphones. That's, that's my experience with them, at least. <laughs> Alright, so Note has three... This looks like one of those Kirby cannon mini games where you have the cannons at the bottom and then the fuse goes all the way up and you have to pick one. Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right, here comes the wombo combo. But can Note get the red in time? Oh, here comes the and red. Seems to be yes. Oh, but it all cancels out. We kind of go back to neutral, except Afro Lord has a solid material advantage right now. Yeah. Gonna cash yes. it in. Gets 25. Neutral. Neutral on heavy quotation marks. Right, so. No can two chain here. No, it's gonna two chain here. Yeah, no, it's gonna two chain. That's gonna be a big hit. Yep. Yeah, that's lethal. Shay, you know, Shay. I'd, what, sorry? I'd say that there's not been like any major early American Western like horror films based around otters, but also I don't think there's any like in the monster mythos of cat girls either. Ah, uh, there's quite a few monster mythos cat girls. Nekomata is like the one, the the big one. There is quite literally a Japanese monster cat girl. 
Which is exactly what Felicia is based off of. I mean, fair enough. Okay. Ooh, spicy little three chain there from Note. But we have a lot of blue on Afro Lord's side of the board. Really playing that left side. Unfortunately, there's some damage interspersed, so it's not going to be quite as effective as it could have been. Yes, Afro Lord has as much blue as Juicy has things to learn about cat girls. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> but I digress. Really going back and forth now. Yeah, there is a lot. That we, we've we've entered the uh, the slobber knocker stage of the game, where it's just trading pattern hits. Note really needs to stop stacking in column four. Like, really needs to stop doing that. Yeah, like, I'm not even ranked in this game, and I know that. <laughs> Alright. He still lived, what? but that was in spite of himself. Game yeah, one going I mean, to note. A little bit of a wombo combo there with the diamond. They don't ask how, they ask how many, and right now it's 1-0. Oh. Afro Lord looking to uh, change up a little bit. Open. Has Thank entered you. anger mode. I love to go Kaioken. Going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Sorry, that was nothing. You're not wrong. No, that was re that was really good actually. <laughs> Both of them racking up some pretty big gems. Pretty and big. Oh, there goes. And oh. that is lethal. <laughs> yeah, Note kind of just found yeah, the crash yeah. gems first. Playing a little bit faster yeah. was enough. Tempo is so important in this game, and that's one of the things I feel like a lot of people struggle with in their first thing or uh, time playing this. But like, there's next to no consequence of playing fast. If you make a misdrop, whatever, you're trying to play to build up resources and then break them all down with diamond 25 turns later that you're giving your opponent more turn space, but you just don't hold down. Yeah, the, the, the only mistake you can make when playing fast is then slowing down. <laughs> like... Compared to a lot of games, mist drops are just not that dangerous in this. Yeah, like it's not sure to like Tetris or something. Oh god no. Yeah, there's there's so many ways to patch over your uh, your mistakes in this game. So you really just you can't be afraid of placing pieces. The only thing that's like inadvisable is stacking in column four. And even then there's like Asterisk. Like, if you know what you're doing, it's not necessarily bad either. Yeah. Oh, this I mean, is a big hit. Oh, wow, that's yeah. fatal. Oh. No dropping the 10 ton weight on Felicia to seal the deal. You can only die in column four. And it, the game never actually distributes damage evenly. So if you have your other columns stacked out, or like topped out, but that one, you can still survive kill damage functionally. All right. A lot of higher level players still use that space to chain, but like if you know you're on defense, just, uh, just. Don't build there. All right, it's going to be Spooky, Soundy, and Jackie Nuts up next. Yep, you got two little boards. One that's three wide to the left here, and one that's two wide to the right here. Make something work. Spacey Soundy has been entering a lot of stuff here lately. You I've to see it. known it as like a really good Puyo player, but like I said, 
love to see people branch out to other games in the genre. Now, arguably, this isn't a huge leap from Puyo, considering the the like the vibe of the game isn't it's too not. far off. Yeah, you can but, technically GTR in this. When it comes down to the vibes of this game, and like, it feels, it feels like going from like Latin dialect of Spanish to an actual span or Hispanic one. Like, yeah, a lot of the broad strokes still apply, but you can trip over a lot of stuff. Like, oh, this doesn't work like Puyo. That I don't know if Spacey Soundy is uh, prepared for or not. Well, they they did oh. well in Puzzly, right? It's true. So that is another game that kind of you can translate some Puyo knowledge from just from the novelty modes in the it's anniversary it's like, games. It's like flying to um, Peru and getting by speaking a Spanish in a Portuguese country. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. It's not it's not the same, but I you you can get by. It's possible. All right, are they are they ready to go? I do not see a Prepared a spacey soundy. Oh, well, actually, they're in the looking to play. Yep, yeah, just changed it to uh, both people looking for match. We're assuming the queue's gonna. <laughs> I clicked on Spacey's profile to see to see what they've got. They have an hour in Puzzly and an hour in Super Puzzle Fighter Two Turbo. <laughs> so they're okay. uh, all right. They're in. Time to see. So I feel like we know a little bit of the violence here already if we're going strict to Chun. All right, let's see if Spacey Soundy can do better than I did, repping um, Big Billy One Slice here. Already right off to the bat with um, a pretty aggressive build here. Red is absolutely true. We're going to make this a crazy power chain. And Ken's not even going to do damage that would disrupt that all that much. We're going to need to do like an extension layer on the green, but other than that, we're fine. We're very fine. Oh, the, the just continual pressure. Oh, but oh, with those reds being cleared, followed by the green. Oh wow, yeah, Jackie Nuts has just gotten all of the perfect power orbs to deal with this. Yep, he's really trusting in the heart of the cards, and it paid off big time. Yeah, really going to be important for Spacey to just play fast and get to that uh, that diamond at this point. This board is not looking very sound. Yeah, we need to get out of this scenario yesterday. Alright, these reds could be big though. It's a decent amount of down stacking. Uh, uh, Blue's going to right. convert now. Oh, but dies with oh. the diamond on deck! The damage just coming in anyway. With a diamond in hand. Basically, you're saying playing you can take this. Like tomorrow. Not tomorrow. But, uh. Ooh, nice 4 chain four into a 7 or an 8 piece. That's a lot Eight of damage, there. but. Unfortunately, it's also a lot of material. Yeah, that's... Uh, the down stack of that's kind of weird. You, it's yeah. off-kilter enough that nothing's clustering. Yeah, it's not good. 
But a diamond could sort that out easily. Yeah, a diamond on blue. Oh, okay. No, there's still. Peak of the devil. Does not drop the diamond on blue, but does get a very large four, five chain. Oh, this is gonna oh be. My a... Oh shoot! Yeah, that oh. is enough. It all works out for Jackie Nuts. Yep, Jackie picking up in game one. Alright, we're sticking with Chun Li except going into anger mode now. Kaio Ken Chun Li. Yep, everyone knows when you get angry you turn very fuchsia. Okay, Spacey could still turn this into... Okay, we got the chain. Red's new trigger. Slight green plug on top. Okay, we just need one more good piece to put this all together. We're gonna set it off greens, and we got full chain. That's ah, lethal. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> if Spacey yeah. gets its main chain started, cool, that's round. <laughs> but mid game yeah, seems to be a little tougher. I'd say Jackie was stacking them pretty good, but they're all just buried like so many fossils in the dirt. Jiminy Krimbus. Well, like, Kill Chain goes down from, like, being six or seven to being, like, four. Four and five, the four, a, a four power chain, yeah. All right, nice little three there. But the Oki is going to be important on this one. Oh, here we go. Three, four. Oh, the yellows don't line up, but is it enough? It's enough. All right, so Spacey taking it back. Oh. With two haymakers to just close out the game. With a diamond in her hand this time around. I I really don't want to turn diamond hands to pick up, but I don't know what else to call it. I mean, we need a better name for that. <laughs> better hands. name for this phenomenon. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Can extend. We got the one thing that I've noticed from all this is Spacey's builds are deeply clean. I'm like, oh, I now can actually diagnose every bit of chain build versus like puzzle fighter players' chain builds. I'm like, I do not understand a lick of what's going on. Oh, I like the split oh. on the um, Ooh. guess a three chain. Oh, but Diamond is on deck. Oh, and that's. Completely raw, no offset penalty. We're just making moves out here. It's basically saying green, gotta go. Tunneling through to those. Spacey days. really just playing, playing quick and rightfully so. Down the down stack is so important at a time like this. Yep. All right, gets a nice little three chain, and these reds are gonna get exposed now. Oh, and then they get buried. Those reds are the real rough part because it's propping up the entire left side of the board. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a. Okay, the reds go. And now all these greens are linked up. Big crash on the diamond. Gives a three chain. Ooh, and. The shape of Jackie Nut's board kind of pushed everything into a funny alignment. That left side looks really nice with the squares, but the middle isn't very high value. That green pops a lot of material, but... The music's picking up pace. It knows the we're entering the late game. Yep, Jackie Nuts board looking like a finger painting, but will she be able to clean it up? I don't like this on Spacey's side. Spacey okay, playing very you. greedily. Nah, we're fine. Oh. Just need a blue. Gets there it. There was never anything. Don't need a blue at all. 
Sometimes you just gotta play for the diamond, and that's exactly what Spacey did, and it paid off. Just down stack, don't worry about it. Just mash out that diamond. Diamond is deeply powerful. Yep. The normalization of the diamond power up to just 75 or 70 percent across the board really does uh, make it a lot easier to abuse how strong that tool is. You don't have to worry about your board not being ready to accept it. Oh yeah, you don't gotta do your uh, flippy gimmicks. Big three combo. And that's enough. She hits... She hits like a truck? She does. If you've got the uh, if you've got the combo potential, it's not easy to offset the damage that Chun Li is sending. So where are we going next? I'm gonna make a guess here. I was right. Yeah, we're me and DJ Otters. Alright. <laughs> Deca, who are you playing in this again? Big Billy One Slice, of course. Oh, right, right. The character who does extra damage. Why... Why did I even ask? <laughs> right. Thank you for coming out. Got oh, what are we gonna get? Video game time. Ooh, Ryu. We are going a uh, third strike. Or I guess not even just Street Fighter in general. I should have paid closer attention to where Ryu's uh, damage pattern is colored. Okay, so it looks like it's does reds on the left. Columns, but it changes like. Yeah, it's got like a hitch in it now. Up. Yeah. I don't. I mean, it makes him better than he was before. But I think the columns at least forced you to have a much harder time building uh, anything off of disadvantage. But it made the down stack incredibly negligibly easy. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, subscription with Tr Prime Emotion the Engine. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. So we can gonna kill. In. It's not gonna kill. It kills. My kill. Okay. Never mind. Sometimes we just poke out here. Ryu's not a terrible character to do pokes with either, honestly. But he probably falls victim to the column four rule the hardest. Because it's yeah, as long as you keep that original. column. Keep like, it clean think... and... You will not I be think punished. The column four color is like yellow. Regardless of what it is, it's just that all the way down the bottom. So you can you can tank so many kill moves when playing against Ryu. Well, I have to find a yellow first. Yeah, you do. Is it just against Ryu's code of honor anxiety. that like he can hit you hard, but he can't kill you? That'd be giving in to the dark zone. Or maybe they didn't think about how it was silly a vertical coverage. 
Uh, you know, TJ Otis could get out of jail here pretty freely. We just need to cash in the reds here. Cashing in the reds, making green two chain. No, nope. blues are gonna murder. Yeah, that's three big old sapphires on that chain. Respectfully, maybe you don't play. Oh, your that's feet. Now. That's lethal. You're not entirely in a taunt to get bodied situation, but in this game, sometimes you just never know. I'm always in a get bodied situation. <laughs> Are you trying to do? The two wide well on left wall for counter damage. Yeah, I'm trying to absorb the yellows. Or the reds, I mean. That's fair. It's not a bad play. I just don't think DJ Otters is going to hit you too hard until you can actually cash up now. Uh, okay, 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 okay. It's going to be an interesting one. Deck of cashing out the yellows. Unfortunately, reds are a little blocked off, but we have we have murder levels of damage on board here. 32 is gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, if this doesn't do it, that red will. Where is that red crash gem? Okay. Oh. Deck of okay. needle. We got a lot here. Oh. That was big enough. Give him two rounds. <laughs> no, it's just the one. You can bounce back from this. I mean, yeah. Nothing about these starting builds look anything other than kind of meandering, but. We can convert the red landmine into a two chain there, and Decca's just trying to accept as much red damage as possible, even though... Okay, maybe, if I'm reading this right, I think Decca did a small poke to just force more damage at this point, which... That's honestly probably the one utility of pokes is uh, forcing moves to feed you more resources after a point. Unfortunately, we're calling 2 and 6 out, so... Dekka needs to find his way out yesterday. Diamond's gonna be a friend. Cashing out, please. Ooh, there goes everything. Alright, we're all tied up. One game per each. Who is going to take home this game three? I mean, I think if Decca keeps his wits about him and uh, just doesn't accept damage where he shouldn't, he's gonna turn it around. Chun doesn't Deca even has need to the build partly. She just kind of needs to live. Yeah, but DJ setting up all these nice little squares saying, I sure would like some more little squares if Chun Li wouldn't so mind. I can add them to my collection. That's probably the thoughts here. of DJ Otters. Probably the thoughts. We'll ask later. Yeah. Oh. Little two chain. We have two different two wide options: blues and greens. 
I'm not gonna train them. A little block. That's off. not what I meant to do. Oh, oh my God, that's. Feels a fucked nice up. Little... But you know what? No, this is still fucked up. That is still yeah. deeply in danger. We're out of yeah. the pit, but goddamn, that was terrifying. That was yeah, very that was... scary. <laughs> I got that the diamond a... a piece earlier than I thought. I like mathed it wrong looking at the next queue. It was like the puzzle equivalent of a choking hazard. <laughs> you, had a, you had a freaking pretzel on that board. But no hazard of choking whatsoever, because they are both still in this very much in game three. Like you're looking at a lot of resources and a lot of. Deck has a lot what? of resources that aren't grouped together to do anything. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure out what there is. Like, what am I not seeing? Because you know I'm really that... bad at this game. <laughs> I don't think there's anything you're particularly missing. Yeah, I, I just I ran out of stuff. Yeah. You had a real deep spire on column five that you probably should have shaved down. Choke detection warning, I don't know. Oh, I just uh, realized the name of that uh, drugstore in the background. Yep. Sun Sun, Sun Turbo. Turbo. <laughs> I mean, this game's chock full of references. There's Phobos in the background. There's... A lot of, a lot of yokai stuff in general. Also, the mm. store is the Street Fighter Alpha 1 reference. To reuse level in that game. Neca mm. built the counter with the reds, but honestly, he built most of it himself at this point. We don't have the means to set it off. Gonna cash in greens on the side there very patiently. A little bit of the old up this. Yeah. I mean, it may as well be. Breaks the blue, so we have a new trigger with red. Yep. I was saying, never mind, I didn't need those reds anyway. Cash and blue. And so saying, there we go. Side reds. Yeah. The ups and downs, the, the dramatic will they, won't they between Dekatrumo and those red gems. Uh, the answer is will. Over 99 damage there. Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. We're getting somewhere here. Got a match. Yeah. Which brings us right to the dramatic season finale here. Gotta ask the real questions, like... What the dog doing? <laughs> he wants that fireball so bad. It's too spicy for you, boy. Yeah. DJ Otters has two sizable pokes at the ready. It's really going to come down to spending those wisely, because if he doesn't kill Dekka with them, Dekka's going to come back. He will always poke Carter. That's why he picks a character. Yeah, we are sitting on some... Some bountiful. Oh, never mind. As soon as I said that, they both say, "Let's start this." Okay. Okay. DJ getting saved by the timer there. Deco looking to kind of accept some damage here. Saying that this last round of this last game isn't going to end like that. I got a little bit more in the tank. Please and thank you. Unfortunately, uh, Ryu's not sending out anything free for him to really work with. But I get why we would do this. You set up, setting up a little Pochi and Nya thing with the blues on DJ on the side. Oh, no, it's now. Is that fatal? That's fatal. Good games. And it's gone.
I thought that the uh, the big hit would have been enough, and it wasn't. So I lost because you. It's you no know, the strength of you in this game is there's just like no way to recover from this board. <laughs> you can't like make any space back because you can only approach things vertically. Yeah, he doesn't give you a lot of freebies. Alrighty then. I gotta play against Note. Which means we're Good in luck with that one. Semis. All right, we are on to winner's semis. Winner's semis is on its way. Just walk in here. Let's see. Let's get the custom on that. Seven, 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 seven. Okay. We are right to go here. Show me. And Jacinko. Sitting on the Great Wall with Sun Sun in the background. If you can find a more Chinese game, play it. <laughs> Slap. Yeah. However, the diamond is on deck. Doesn't quite give a huge chain, but it's still a decent amount of damage. Well, not. Nope, not committing to those greens. It's like. Oh. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Oh, sorry, I was, I was so enraptured with what was going to happen there. And they went off, but it was a little too late. All right, so Juicy and Chun Li taking round one. I'm sitting on a, both of them got a very large blue doohickey. I will surely come into play later in the round. Ooh, juicy thing. Double it up. Juicy has quite the all oh, three chain into the big red. The big red freshness lashed right through it. And juicy takes the round. players sticking to their characters. Now it appears we are in Hisenko's level. The graveyard. It's where she buries all of the people she beats. Buries them underneath gems. The cool thing about burying someone underneath gems is if you want to go grave rob them, you don't need to go too deep, you just take some of the gems. Note, I need you to fight back. Yeah, some grave robbers gotta go pick some of the gems off a of note there after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Line your pockets, fellas. <laughs> So we are going into round two. Juicy looking at set point for winner semis. Seeing finals right over the horizon. 
but it has to get through. Uh, one night in a haunted house first. <laughs> As was instructed in the well. Jesus. Oof! The pressure from Juicy just not letting up. Which Juicy's two saying, I don't think this house is really haunted. <laughs> I can't click. Ah, ah the beans. beans. Well, he's Zoe. Eleven point nine k went to. Yeah, nice change, Juicy. I try my best. <laughs> Puzzle forty exciting. Note was getting me a lot of trouble in friendlies, and I switched to trying to like, oh, you're just doing very big pokes. What if I did that back? Because I play it cool because I want to get rewarded for like six, seven chains because it's fun and it makes the neurons activate. Yeah, you got to go for the big one. I I can't fault you for that. He forced my hand. You understand. <laughs> anyway. You did what had to be done. We got stream for other side of winter semis. It's Lucenti and Spacey. Okay. It's looking like we're getting ourselves put together. Are they in, or is it just black screen for me? They're in. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. All right, hacker voice. I'm in. All right, we got some more. Senko versus Trim Lee. Different colors this time around. I I do very much like. Um, Senko's alternate palette. The pastels on her? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it they doesn't They left match her out any... in the sun too long. It doesn't match any of the rest of the video game at all, but I mean, points for originality that's, there. That's allowed. You don't need consistency in costume design. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about some of the people that remember certain colors for Marvel 2 as like being official skins when no. They were fan patches that got canonized so hard that they became real colors in Marvel 3. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Lucentai is given a golden opportunity here and knows how to take it. Follow Big up damage. Like, when Ooh. are we going to get to the fireworks factory? And here we are pulling and that, up. And that's why you don't build in column 4. Cost Stacy Soundy the round. Like, people's like, you remember Mango Sentinel? No, you don't. Mango Sentinel's not in base Marvel 2. That was that was in a homebrew CDI file. But he became real in Marvel 3. Oh, I, I did not know Mango Sentinel. Wait, Mango Sentinel? Oh. Jikapu, you entering a uh, Puzzle Bobble 4 in like a week? It's a week, right? Week yep. Two. Puzzle Bobble 4 is okay. next week. Hell yeah. Okay, I need to recontextualize some things in my life. History is not linear. Mm. History is a flat circle we've done over this. Okay, not okay. Really. I, Jeez. I that's your fault when you try that. Work. Uh, if the craft chimps are spread a little bit better, the Sentai may have been able to get out of that. Alright, round three. Sentai doing doing the tried and true big three pokes.
The first Piece poke was too small. And the second poke was too small. <laughs> well, the third poke was just right. also too small. <laughs> We're doing two different philosophies here. This Spacey Santa is playing almost exclusively chain game here, and Lucentis like, I'm making the squares, I'm blowing up the squares. Hopefully you perish. Maybe there's a two chain. Big don't square gaming, s literally. Don't you mean squarish? Nothing bigger than a two on purpose. All better than a building and like counter damage, folks. It's better than an accidental two, am I right? Something like that. Sorry, I'll, I'll put a nickel in the poop jar. Oh, and those blues getting flushed Just down. Like locking Spacey Soundy into column four. And that. Oh. Oh. oh no, the Wombo combo. Oh no! It's so oh. much damage. Squaring up. The moment that I saw the time, I'm like, oh, it's all over. Hello. Switching to Donovan, right. which may suit Lucent. This will definitely style. suit that light poking style. Sirloin sure did make 3S chunk of this version, didn't he? Yep. Well, you can't really say he made 3S Chun when she's not, like, the best character at all. Oh! No, no, no. She makes a strong argument in this version of the game if you're operating at full steam. Yeah, like, if you want to do Chun Li shit, then this Chun Li's pretty good. Yeah. I, I meant, like, she's not, like, number one, borderline uncontested. Sort of, uh, sort of vibe is what I was going yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. She's, def she's definitely got her niche in this game. It's just uh, there, there are multiple viable characters, not Chun Li, Yoon, and everybody else is tiered based on their matchups against those two characters. I was gonna say, don't Ooh, big hit! Oh no! So Lucentai is going to double tap Chun Li right there. <laughs> <laughs> Lucentai switches to the poke oriented character and then immediately one shot Spacey Soundy. <laughs> Playing for chains is such a double edged sword in this game. Don't get me wrong, I love doing it to an unhealthy degree. But compared to a lot of games, sometimes the RNG just does not shake out. Yeah, the fact that you're so reliant on um, crash gems is a a bit of a deal breaker. Sometimes they work though. Four, five. Oh my gosh, it's all connected though. Okay, we just we just need to live. We just need to live. No! no! Rotated out of the spot. Oh kicky into the fourth. A kicky into the fourth. Really, yeah, all all Spacey Sammy has to do is kind of throw Lucentai a bit off balance. Enough to just make constant clears not as viable a game plan. Shave the reds off, green option and blue option are huge for uh, Lucentai now. 
Yeah. It, it seems like at this point in the game, we know what the Sunai wants to do, we know what Spacey wants to do. And they're like, whoever one can do it, they're gonna run away with it. Oh, that is a three by three. Big, 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 big. Well, that doesn't kill. No? Yeah, it's, it's modest. It's fun seeing a thing blow up, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Two chain into I mean, another big hit. Oh, but it gets mostly offset. Extending the blues. Extending the blues deeply. Alright. Oh no! The Cascade! Delaying Spacey's Diamond, costing the game. The sensor saying, I don't need red gems anymore, and you don't need any of that space. Alright, got. Got some green and blue stuff, though. Tucking the green in the bottom left for a rainy day here. Oh, we just did a good amount of screen watching there. Oh. One to the next. Wait, yep. Up. Lucentai saw that greed and went in for the kill. And that is going to be game. Wowie zowie. Wowie zowie indeed. Sometimes you got a board look. That's, that's just the state of the world. All right, then. I th think we're probably due for uh, some announcements. It's chill time. Hey, Decca. Yeah, it's time uh... for a little bit of an upcoming event overview. Yeah. Next week, we will gather on Wednesday to gather up the red and the blue with Soul Dam, the Othello, Reversi, whatever you like to uh, whatever you like to call that style of game. Whichever um, Windows ninety five game you had growing up. Yeah, exactly. It's a game where you surround colors with um, either red or blue, depending what side of the board you're on and your goal is to make full lines and it's uh, it's pretty cool um it's got a shared piece queue so there's a good uh there's a good bit of um like all right do i sacrifice the state of my board to steal a piece that my opponent wants or do i just let them take it and hope that the next piece is uh is better for me so, sort of gaming so it's it's pretty cool very small board, but still de uh, deceptively deep game. And then on July 31st, to wrap up the month, we have the most explosive Puzzle Bobble game with Puzzle Bobble 4. The funny one where all those orbs you drop uh, come back to your board to make more matches. So Chain get ready. Game, baby. Yeah, it's they, they made an upside down chain game uh it's it is very hectic very fun a little bit of a character meta so you get to see some interesting uh some interesting damage patterns one of my personal favorites and then to start off august can i get an oh f in chat we are playing uh, yeah. mackle drop f the uh so after Magical Drop 3, they didn't really know what to do because they'd already made the perfect game. So they <laughs> decided to make Magical Drop F, where they redesigned all of the characters and gave them supers. It's, um, different. The F stands for 4. The F does stand for 4. Uh, so we've not run this before. So, yes, it is basically the Yone of Mag Drop. It's, uh... We've, we've never... Basically, there has not been much competitive 
magical drop f played so we're gonna basically debut it and see how it all pans out and i'm very excited to see oh, how it turns you. out there was yeah. not a way to play this before this year yeah you pretty much playing in person yeah you're yeah, you're, you're, you're either only... playing in per oh go ahead i was gonna say each character not only gets one redesign they get two redesigns <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they completely change form when they turn uh, Super Saiyan or whatever. Can I take point on talking about Unstack? Yeah, go ahead, because I have no clue what that is. <laughs> okay, so Unstack, this is a rat's bracket. That should tell you like 90% of what's going on here, but we were digging through... Uh, Shoutouts to Tuesday Night Mystery, actually. I think this was in their lineup for... Or was it strict filters? It was something mystery bracket. And this game feels like a 2001 Flash game project burned to a disc. You got my attention. It, is, it feels like it's art assets and production cost $10. And I feel like that's more important to share than anything about the actual game itself. It's a chain game. It's kind of isometric 3D angle. It's not hard to figure out, but you are watching this one and playing this one just for the sheer vibes, question mark, it gives off. It's the yeah, Ultra the, Fight uh, Dekyanta 2 of Falling Puzzle Block games. Okay, I get it. The uh, gravity in it is very uh, funny. It let's, sure let's is a dumb thing. Uh, the the F other thing stands I for plug, funny. <clears throat> before we get back in the bracket, is um, friend of the stream, Xanverse, is doing a Friday Night Puyo Puyo bracket this week. Um, specifically because we have support for the C2 Puyo Puyo 2 arcade board. Uh, he Thanks, even. Arcade. Yeah. He even submitted a save state that, um, with a little bit of tampering in the back end, actually prevents a power-on sequence. So we have true random starts for um, ranked matches. A lot of work was put into this, and he's putting on a fight kid bracket for it. So I'm going to be there. I think notes in there. But given how fight kid is our platform, let's share a little bit of the love there. And... Uh, Play some good old fashioned Puyo's Puyo. And that's going to be it for our announcements for the day. Let's see what we got in TO Desk. All right. Stream match call is going to be Juicy and Lucentai. So we are going on to winners' finals. Got it. All right. It's time to wrap that, Dan. Bring out the big guns. Damn, I kept peer-pressuring Lucentai to join this week, and I kept, he's been streaming, uh, marathoning Mana Series games. I was like, come on, man. Come on. And he managed to finish Sword of Mana right on time to be here tonight, so I'm super happy for that. Five of the 11 games done so far. God bless. Nice. Anyway. Press some buttons. I'm ready to go whenever you are. All right. First to three, baby. <sighs> Good luck, have fun. You guys are already in, and I'm still loaded. Alright, we're still on the upcoming event screen now. Oh, you're right. I forgot Probably to do click the that. switch back button. Alright. Madman actually did it. We have Dan Gaming in finals. First two, three. 
Juicy is gonna have to make sure. Uh... Dan really is the, all right, better make it hurt. Better kill me in one shot. Better make it count. Yep, because his garbage is nothing. His garbage is garbage, but not for the opponent, for him. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately oh, for Juicy, shot. Dan is actually just bad. <laughs> Devilot's damage being different kind of throws me for a loop. Like, deceptively difficult to work around. But yeah, this is going to be the theme of this, this game. Dan needs to kill. <laughs> Anything less than his father's ghost will drown him. So much red. Oh, wow. This is just so unfair. It's just not, not, not okay. One away from having... He survived that. I mean, like, for one turn, but... Yeah. Sometimes that's all you need in this game. Alright. Dan has embraced the Satsui no Hado. The salt suey no hado and has turned into a kuma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is. I, I'm not topping that one tonight. <laughs> the salt suey no hado. <laughs> we need. We need like. We have evil Ryu and Omega Ken or whatever he's called. Or, uh, violent Ken. Violent Ken. Where where oh, yeah. is? He loves violence. Where is our, like, Shin Evil Dan? <laughs> is there not one in any of the uh, crossover games? I wouldn't know. There's a, I know there's one of Sakura. But... Oh, there's an evil Sakura? Yeah. Marvel. Ah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know Marvel. That's not a. Uh, not in my yeah, there's, lexicon. There's a few, yeah, semi-canonical uh, variants of Street Fighters. Is. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Sentai so just not letting up any pressure. I'm clearly not respecting the game he wants to play. Yeah, Jake and that's coming in with some alliteration in chat with a despicable game. All right. Time for the third completely different play style. Actually, no. Chun Li and Dan kind of play the same. <laughs> yeah. the same. Kill your opponent in one Dan, shot. I'm gonna win with someone dressed in approximately the same color as Dan. Some big shapes over on Lucentai's side of the board. Oh, yeah. A big diamond on Juicy's side. Taking out the reds. Three. Unfortunately for Juicy, offsets do less damage, so that, uh... The, the forcefulness of that diamond was significantly impeded. That this blue hit is going to be nasty when it connects. Oh, it gets kind of stuck again, though. Oh, the Sentai's board is just so lopsided that the uh, the, the quote-unquote easy-to-deflect Chun-Li damage is just uh, not, um, not that easy to deal with. Mm. Yep, 
you're off balance, you'll get kicked down a lot easier. Perish. <laughs> I'm gonna win quote out. <laughs> well, he's out. Uh oh. And now with Santa getting to switch things up. We got Donovan, we got Chun Li. It's set point. It's winner's finals. It's puzzle Wednesday. Here we go. What game Queen is Donovan King from? King. Vampire Dark Hunter. Soccer. Oh, he is from Vampire Hunter? Okay. He never actually made it into uh, Visa. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I will admit my uh, my Dark Soccer's War is a bit um, rusty. Ooh. Oh! You got a little bit of bees for a second there. I was a little scared, yes. Uh, the bee lady is in this game. Oh, this green block is pretty dangerous. Coming from Chun Li. Oh, two combo. Really? Fireworks going up on both sides here. Oh, but that's that's not damage that Donovan wants to send. That's a lot of a lot of. Okay, I guess Juicy's gonna cash most of it in pretty early. The Sentai's board is such a weird shape right now, though. Yeah, I really... Oh, okay, there goes column four. I was, I was about to do some commentary nagging about that one, but... No. We're just worried about this. Real burn burner with the man. Ooh! I saw that! Oh, I guess... Okay, I guess he freed up the yellows, but that was almost a, uh, a greed is not good moment. Great two chain to dig. Juicy gonna take a hefty chunk of damage here. I think his diamond should be coming up, but it doesn't matter. The the shot is lethal. So Lucentai set point, set round. Ready to take it. Yep, one round away from Brands. A bit of a two chain poke there from Juicy, but fortunately, I think it's just gonna give uh, give Lucentai a lot of material to work with. Oh, but he just never receives a red. Ooh, <laughs> the pressure is enough. That's one of the that's one of the struggles in this game. You can't choose when you pop your stuff. If you don't get the crash gems, everything is garbage. I think the real the real meta for Chun Li is just gonna be rushing your opponent so fast they never get the crash gems to counter you. <laughs> Whoa, I see a key slot there. Oh no, but the yellow gets expended. Oh, and that's oh. it. That's a white. GG's. Alright, so now we descend down into losers. Not ready then. What is it going to be losers semis or is it going to be losers quarters? I don't know if Jackie Nuts and Note have played. All right. Yes, it is from one loser quarters. Do these losers on me? Need one round of losers quarters play already. Okay. <laughs> right, Racket so is now linear. 
sitting in grand finals waiting for the winner of the loser's bracket. So will Juicy uh, redeem himself or will one of these other contenders say, no, I would like to have a crack at the senpai, please. Only one way to find out, really. video game. We are playing some video games with Ken and Josemko. Here we go. Losers quarters. Notes, sir. Jackie notes. Left and right respectively. Start this. Not any big clumps of anything in particular yet. We have a bunch of blue crash gems on the board. Nothing really looks like it's chaining right now. Yeah, there's like more blue crash gems than blue gems. Feels like. but... I'm just trying to see what the chain options are here. Jackie and outside is... I mean... We could really roll the dice when we get a rainbow gem, but other than... Meanwhile, Note seems to be consolidating the reds and yellows and cashing out on reds. Unfortunately, I'm... that's not much damage. I'm going to be dedicating my focus to yellow. We'll see how that goes up. We're tanking and sending a good amount, but again, Jackie Nutside is so low to board that I wouldn't cash in the yellows if I were Note. Especially when uh, these light folks keep coming in. All these free reds are just damage getting ready to whiplash. And look at these yellows adding up. Now it's oh, I like that little tuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Worse. Oh! Yellow's oh, the... apart. Oh. Yeah, the cascaded. Oh, and here comes the diamond. We can. Okay. Nope, finally getting a chance to cash this in. Oh. I was gonna say, if no can find these a red crash gem too, that follow up is extremely real, but it doesn't yeah. come to that. The yellows were enough. Yeah, it looks less like Note's board and more like a note for Santa with all that red and green on it, but we made it into round two. Both players consolidating their reds on the opposite sides of the board. Which one of them is correct, though? Oh, no, I'm getting the, uh... Ooh, look at those nice long beans. Bountiful harvest this year. Will there be oh, unfortunately, a... Note's kind of forced to cash in on yellow, but these uh, no, greens no, are huge. Fine. Oh, it doesn't yeah. amount to much. The offset penalty really raining on Note's parade right now. Column four being deeply low. Uh, it's... Oh, but can get that second. Oh, but I'm that's gonna... totally. That's a big yeah, hit. Just, just set up a little <laughs> green clear so that. All those reds would hit as a chain. Wowie zowie. Mm -hmm. 
Game 2. Looking pretty heavy on the blue and reds this time around. Jersey stacking the blues all the way up to the top of the board. Not sure how useful that is, but it looks impressive. Notes they're going to cash Oops. out their blues as well. Both players still sitting on a lot of bread, just to say that, never mind. Neither player is sitting on any bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately for Note, the diamond comes at the worst possible time. Commentator's curse for bread. This is a preview of Soul Dam next week, as the players are currently <laughs> gathering up the red. Note in particular, really gathering up the red here. Yep, yeah, and those garbage is revolving, showing that yes, this is a, uh, that's a lot of beans. All these pokes that uh, Jackie is doing to note is deeply giving him free resources all day. Yeah, there's little difference between a poke and Ken and the Dan. Ooh. Nine might be, no, it's not enough, but. Oh! Yeah, it was enough. Ooh. Unfortunately, Jackie Nuts didn't have room to rotate that piece horizontally, so the garbage turning into solid pieces right at the end of there cost him the round. Oh, I'd love to see uh, just six green orbs in three pieces. Notes they're putting together a Chaos Emerald over here. Yeah, Jesus, that's gonna... When that hits, if he gets a chance for it to hit... I don't know that it would cash that in on Diamond. But, hey, whatever. Yellows are also... Looking pretty appetizing. Not dying's looking great, and I don't think the note's gonna get that. Oh, oh. note played that a little, uh, a little too greedily there, splitting up the crash gems a little too much. Needed to just cash them out, create space. Crash. It's never like. Cashing out diamond for like main attack. Oh, I I meant like yeah no you're you're right that I I think the uh, the diamond was a little bit too aggressive as well. I think that's what ultimately sunk him. Yeah, it just didn't oh, it just didn't have God. the killing. Oh my, this oh, red. Lord. This is and criminal. A little layer on top just for get SCG. him out of here. Also, stop uh, stacking that... in column four. I think this is one of the times where it's okay to pop diamond on main chain. <laughs> and it, it was. Oh, Ooh, that no. was a lot of damage. So, no, note, gonna take it. Call. You're in the yeah. call here with us because you're TOing. Brother, stop stacking in column four. Yeah, I don't care that you won no that. We have to worry about the safety of our competitors here. <laughs> like any sport. Um, how does offset penalty work? Uh, I don't know the specifics of it, but there's like a... Uh, there is a damage debuff for hitting second in an interaction. Yeah, if you're offsetting... I don't know how what the ratio is, but if you're offsetting damage, you just do significantly less. Like you do 50% like... of your damage if you're offsetting. <laughs> it's Damn, big. That's deep. Yeah, it's like they don't want you to do it or something. 
can't believe they're encouraging you not to block. Anyway, notes on the gauntlet until further kicked off. So we got Notester and Spacey Soundy. Who, given chat, makes it sound like it's learning how the game's supposed to work. Do you see last time someone said that to me in a tournament? I slammed down the first three pieces in the next round straight down. <laughs> I can't help that you don't care about your well-being sometimes. Belligerently so. All right, video game time. By the by, the person I chose to poke fun at there, uh, shout out to Kaido Sinclair for actually putting this um, ROM hack together. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, we do seem to gather a bunch of people who are not only dedicated to like playing and spreading awareness of these games, but also just making them better. Which you know, that's also pretty cool. Look, I don't know how I got so many people that have more concrete skills than I do to trust my judge. Like, yeah, no, I know what I'm doing here. Oh my god, five chain baby. That is probably the single greatest strength, is Chun makes chaining so much more viable in this game. It's like, you would need to do seven, maybe eight to get a kill chain with other characters, and her damage scaling with the uh, buffs makes it... Honestly, chaining pretty fatal. Because you can pull kill moves out of the least amount of resources out of a character in the game. Like, you want to make sure you kill with her, but she can do it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, on that three chain, is it enough? It's enough. Immediately putting note in a box. chain openings here so we have two crash gems on the board gonna try and use green as a trigger on spacey soundy side that's gonna work out mostly nice little Big three chain, chain it's not gonna take note out or anything but it, it'll come close oh. though or will it <laughs> Okay, the diamond that? crashes in no. on red. The yellow is propping up center board there is terrifying for Note, though. Yeah. We're, we're kind of out of jail on Note's side. We're out of jail completely on Note's side. Not impressive to watch. Spacey, so Spacey yeah. really needs the uh, the the diamond about now. They f it feels so like they're overdue, but column four is giving me a lot of anxiety. Yes. We're oh, that's here. lethal. Yeah, just it is so hard to downstack Sienko's pattern. Yes. Uh, those diagonals in the middle just doesn't it doesn't matter that you get the sides you, you just... she keeps you in disadvantage yeah 
Moon and is right. Like, she has all the colors in column four, meaning you need to draw every single crash gem multiple times for an effective down stack. It's just it's rough out there. Yeah. It's, it's almost as if being hit with all those uh, spiky metal things hurts more. <laughs> yeah. Big sh big shot. Oh, but it, because it's a diamond, it's only going to do a the, the three turn timer. And yet another cluster overhangs giving me deep anxiety on notes board. Like, Bryce, what do you do about that? I don't know, but it looks funny. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, the, oh, you perish. the, the damage just coming in at the worst time for no costing him the round. Needed to wait two more, but only had room for no more. They can't all be good. Round three. Okay. Spacey Scouting with red trigger there. We're just kind of fishing for it. Maybe someday. Chain didn't quite work out, but you know, we're still getting a five chain, which means the life is hell for no. Disadvantage is only as real as you feel it is. All right, note on the board. We got a match. Sun getting a front row seat to game three here. Sometimes this game kind of fake. Yeah, no matter which way you slice it. Yeah, it says, you know what, guys? Green. Oh my god. Yes. No, oh. no. Oh god. That's so much damage. I'm just gonna cash it in. Oh, oh, oh and that's. High. The double offset oh. penalty. I don't, I don't think those two matches could have done less damage. <laughs> those greens cancel each other out. Just in the wind. But what is big is the stockpile blues over on Spacey's side, which just grouped over. And they're all about to link up more, so yeah. Yeah. No, doing a good so, job keeping his board low, but I don't know if that progresses well, you towards the win state. They had a little air pocket in there, that doesn't really do much. Note's kind of squirming. There's only one column functionally open. Yeah, Note's just got to slam those column? pieces down and hope for the best at this point. I mean, yeah, you're gambling. Let's go gambling. All right, this yellow is big. And now this board is mortifying. Oh, but unfortunately, the greens are locked off. <laughs> locked, baby. Cash out any damage you can get. Oh! Big. The damage was on deck, but the timer was still counting down. No, it just did not have enough pieces.
efficient for yellow trigger. Sort of blows up and works out anyway. Well, we have a raid from Future. Wow, welcome, everybody. Ooh, yeah, big yellow. The mm. real burn burner of a loser semis here. Yeah, real, real slugfest going on. Ooh. Yeah, each player is saying, you better knock me out with this anxiety. one. We're not getting out of here alive, unfortunately. Ooh. Yeah, you can't see anything through that ghost row. Alright, double Luigi. Final, final round. The best Luigi is when there's two of them, yes. Basie sounding basically building a board's worth of Chun Li damage. <laughs> I'm going to play the poking game, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. All right. And now we're doing. And now it's a combo. That's a pretty gross three chain. Yep, that's a pretty gross combo. Like I'm just going to choose simple violence, and it works out. Yeah, you kick someone enough times, they fall down. Alrighty then. What have we got next? I mean. We are it's on Hugh and Spacey Sally. Good old. Found press buttons. Wish me luck. Good old. I typed losers twice. Damn. Losers finals. Losers, losers finals. Alright, I sent the challenge. So now we wait. Alright, Juicy. How confident are you feeling? I didn't think I was going to get washed by. Or my Dan washed that quickly. I'm not used to people playing like Rush Down Pokes in this game. So this, this one, I'm still. I have my wits about me. Yeah. Oh, looks like you're in. Are we still stuck on the last match on stream? Jacka? Are we? Jacka. No, it's fixed. Ah, my stream must be lagging then. We're just going to set that off. You're building a lot taller than I am. I'm allowed to slightly lose interactions. Oh, this is just going to be deeply explosive. Okay. Oh my god, that's so many red orbs that are connected. This is this is gonna be such a slugfest. This is basically Dan Mirrors. Dan Mirrors with a little extra spice on top. Similar energy, yeah. Juicy um, dodging a tragic fate by poking for two damage. Uh, not a microsecond too soon.
controlling the incoming damage is gonna be so much of this matchup. If I can rob you of half of it just by hitting first, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I see the chain potential here from uh, Spacey Soundy, but unfortunately, lost in the weeds as the. Uh... Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> Chaining in this game is so deeply freeform. I saw Spacey Soundy put together this really nice chain, and then they got this really, really long drought of Crash Gems, and then they set off like five pieces, and then they died. Sure is Puzzle <laughs> Fighter out here. Roller coaster of emotions, even as a spectator. Sure is Puzzle Fighter out here. Yeah. Quite a chain from Juicy. Unfortunately, this time he is the one suffering from the half damage disease. Suddenly, all of the red crash gems in the world have appeared. But the uncontested triple gem red clear is going to be a poke that clears the guard. You know, we talk about fighting games with punch buttons. I think this might be the only puzzle games with punch buttons. I think this might be the only puzzle game with a block button. Kinda. Because I'm kind of realizing how instrumental it is to watch your opponent's board and eat half of their income, half of their outgoing chain, with like a spare crash gem. Gonna get rid of the blue. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Please. I have a family. All right, Juicy managing to hold on there at the top just long enough for the Crash Gems to roll in. And that is going to... and with But with all that material on board, it is... It was his round to take. Juicy trying to assert himself as the strongest puzzle fighter in the world and is one win away from being able to redeem himself and reclaim that. Alright, we got the 3x3, three three and we've set it up to be a chain. Uh-oh. Damage on deck. Juicy, unable to protect his red crash gem, so... Red will crash. Oh, this is so much green. It's only going to become more powerful. Oh, 
Oh, and it's gonna go through uncontested. Here comes blue. Here comes blue. There went blue. There went blue. One round away. I'm real. I'm really coming to. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? No, I was just trying to finish my thought there. It was. I'm. I'm. Re I'm really getting a feel for how like. We 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 talk about Okizeme in fighting game or in puzzle games where you hit them with something big and then you follow up. I think this game has. A kind of the opposite. It's got hit confirms. You hit someone with something very light so that you nuke their offset potential and then you follow up with the big hit. Okay. Oof. Unfortunately, Juicy not able to... Uh, unfortunately, that time Juicy got hit confirmed against. And if there's one thing Third Strike Chun Li is known for, it's that 2M hit confirm into Super. Okay, maybe sound a little less. Woo! Damage jump scare. That damage coming in at the worst possible time for Juicy. Yeah, that everything up. Oh no. Died with a sparkly gem oh. in his hand. Re oh, I was like, oh no, Ryu? Okay, now we're sticking with your Chun Li. That's a four chain. Oh my god, a four chain back, but this one is huge. Yeah, it didn't turn into many big gems, but it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, if you've got if you've got like a two by three, you're still getting a pretty sizable damage bonus. Yeah, is there like an optimal size that like players usually go for when, the, or does it just vary from context to context? I I don't know. I, I don't know much about the the theory of this game. I just know that the the bigger and squarer a piece is, the bigger bonus you get. Yeah, no, same. I just like to make big things. Big amount of green here. Let's get access to it. Oh, can't slot that. Oh. That garbage kind of the oh, game. Juicy's gonna chain into it. And he's gonna get a double yeah. two chain. Three chain. Oh, wait, no, it's a four chain. That's so much damage. Yeah, it's no hope. No hope of offsetting that. And Juicy is going to take it 3 2 over Spacey Soundy. Shout outs to them for coming out. And giving us quite a show, but their run ends here. We are on to Korean finals. All right.
Puzzle Fighter Toshian. Good luck, have fun. Someone will have to refresh my memory. Has Lucentai won a Puzzle Fighter bracket before? I believe so. I believe they have, yeah. Alright, Grand Finals. Uh, last prediction of the night. Better than Juicy and Droves. That's just me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I saw the number run up oh! and I was like, mm -hmm. how do I how do I bet how do I bet on that? Oh, predict with custom. Here, I'll, I'll help you a bit. Alright, so. Got Akuma and Devilop, two two unique characters, to say the least. Well, they're more unique in this game than they are in the original Puzzle Fighter, where they're basically clones of each other. But so, in this uh, one, they they're in this opposites. Game? Akuma does full damage but takes extra damage, and Devilot does less damage, but takes normal damage, I believe. Oh. So Devilot is tanky. Devilot is normal tanky, lower attack, but has, like, a very vile pattern. And then Akuma is full damage, but he's a glass cannon. Yeah. Real glass. Fry me a river. Okay. Right, Lucentai taking a convincing game one. I wonder if I wonder if Chun Li is like the counter to Akuma because the damage is like multiplicative. Oh yeah. That is the fun thing fighting against a thing in Street Fighter 6 is like, I'm a Minone man, so I do the, uh, the big bunny throw and it just takes a chunk, like a half of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just deletes half. him. Fortunately, as big as that red match was, it wasn't, like, good on yeah, area. It was like a pussy in the match. It would have been really good if only it were a different game. <laughs> oh, these pokes are strong! Okay, Juicy finding a hole in the defense. Crouching medium kick as strong as ever. I, th I think I do have to change my assessment. She is third strike Chun Li. Yeah. You've just got to get it? those. You got to get that hit confirm. And if you do, they die. Goodbye health bar. 
What a creative chain using the little bridge over here to stack everything up neatly from Juicy. Fortunately, absolutely nothing on board to deal with this, uh... Okay, Juicy... Oh, I was gonna say Juicy doing a good job to offset some of that, but, uh... Not enough. Sensei looking very nice and tidy. And meanwhile, Juicy is trying to get as much as he can on the board. Nice little two chain from Juicy, and the poke is going to connect. And the pattern, or the the stack, is so lopsided that it's all. Oh, but the diamond is here, uh, and suddenly it's, this is a big poke. Yeah. And now Isn't Lucentai is completely out of the woods. Yeah, that floor goes in just like the cap coming with that. Just blue and yellow. Nothing else. Juicy is in a real danger. Yeah, these blues are going to come in and do so much damage. Juicy really needs to find that next diamond. Fortunately, most of his columns are already filled, so can't do too much damage. He just really wants that green crash gem, and he yep. can't find it. There he goes. He's saving that spot. But unfortunately, Devilot's damage pattern is just not conducive to big counterattacks. And these pokes are just... Coming out in uh, Lucentai's favor. Yeah, I mean, if you add 20% to Jack's squat, that doesn't really do much. Alright, we got a 3 chain. That's a big hit. Yeah, we but can Juicy capitalize so on it? He just doesn't have any way to activate damage on his board. Look at all these, these big gems on the Lucentai's. Oh, but it's enough! The persistent poking uh, comes out in his favor. Even I guess if we... You, just, you kind of have to take Devil Out to margin time. Yeah, I was going to say, if it goes to margin time, it's just going to come down to can Juicy get a one-shot off before, uh, before Devil Out can offset. Yeah, or since Devil Out can't offset. Yeah, it was simply saying, I can't do another one of those Donovan time. <laughs> or, I should... I, yeah, having I having to that. sweat for that long, probably, uh... A, a dangerous proposition. Yeah. You don't want to gas yourself out as close to the finish line. Oh no, those blues squaring up for Juicy in the worst possible oh, way. No. The devil's oh, the greed right at the top board. It pays off though. Well, if Juicy can get all these yellows to connect, he can. That's, that's a lot of material. 
Oh, and Lucentai's locked in. Very rare that c column four isn't the column that fill or column four was empty, but it did not mean Lucentai wasn't dead with the uh, the order of operations there. <laughs> he was locked he, despite having a lot of empty space on his board. He just could not move pieces out of the the kill column. Juicy crafting new and never before seen chain patterns to get this four. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage, but unfortunately it's kinda all these vertical lines, so yeah, Sentai is not gonna have much it. trouble getting rid of this. Especially with the and diamond on deck. It clicked perfectly into the rest of the board too. Oh, I kind I kinda like that play from Juicy. Not using the, um... Not using the diamonds to attack and waiting. And now he's gonna cash in this huge red match. And that's so much damage. That yellow was so... There's so many yellows in that yellow chain. I was like, damn, that's yellow. Okay. Lucentai definitely with a we weird board shape here. The, the pieces are not connected how you would expect them to be when you're fighting Chun-Li. Nice triple-double there from Juicy. Oh, this red. Ju Juicy has to make a move now. These He cannot let these reds come to pass. Oh, and they did. This is so much damage. Enough. Real slobber knock. Yeah, the the match delay is almost what killed Juicy there. He had the pieces to get out, but just having to wait for every every clear cost him. has quite the stockpile of blues. I think what I would really like to see is him commit to saving them. This might be a little bit too much greed though. Just never found one. That's so unfortunate. I, I, I did like the idea, but the diamond and the, uh, yeah, the yellow crash gem just were not there. One more game left to seal it. Yes. Sorry, I just read this thing out. Alright, we're gonna see the Donovan mirror. Round 
Lucy is the one with the red arm, and Sentai is the one with the blue arm. So keep an eye on those arms throughout the match. <laughs> They will be coming into play. Kind of a check out his arm situation here. I don't think Juicy has enough material on board to close this out, though. Yeah, there's a... That is a ton of crash jumps. Oh, but that's a 3-chain. I was gonna say, you don't usually see and that many on the board. Lucentai right does not have the Miracle Gem on deck. Pretty neat and tidy right now. Yeah, Lucentai really putting effort into playing the pattern. And they will just slice a chunk off of it and hand it over and say, Here, you try this. Yeah. She's just saying, No, it's not a kind of mess on board out there. One of these. And they just kind of go back and forth until one of them wins. <laughs> Big chain coming out from the Sentai. And a little air bubble on the bottom right there. Okay, luckily Juicy has a get out of jail three. Oh, no, it matched. Okay. Yeah, juicy out of the rough with the empty uh empty column four. Very smart greed from Juicy, popping the diamond on blues and then letting the uh, the timer tick down on all of the reds that you just linked up. A triple clear for 39. That's a big hit. Yeah, but the Sentai like keeping their fourth column pretty clear enough to... Uh, yeah, enough to get a couple good. of matches and all of the stuff cooking underneath. Resources there. Uh oh, I'm just looking at a diamond here. Blue's going bye bye again. Fortunately, those yellows were not linked for Juicy. Only, Weird air bubble in his board. Holy two chains into it with a double three chain at the end. Boom! There we go. And it is a slobber knocker to, I think, margin time. And Juicy evens it up. 2 2. Alright, game five of Grands. Let's go. 
stretch if you haven't in a while. I just realized I haven't. Now all my joints are just popping. Don't ever get old. Don't ever get old? That's good advice. If, if you can help. It. He's sitting on a small stockpile of greens with the trash located one blue away. Would that be Ruby's target for another diamond? Speculate on that. Two, three, four, five, five. Five. Five? Five is a big number. Five is a big number, know. but Lucentai had a chain to match, so the damage was not that big. Yeah, five is not a big number when you're talking about garbage. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the chains don't really start to hit critical mass until, like, six or seven, right? Yeah, but, oh, that's a... The massive yellow there. Juicy making out like a bandit there. Lucentai just popped half a board's worth of garbage. And Luc Juicy offset it with one block. And chaining into those threads at the bottom. Take that big blue gem with you. Take all your gems away. Juicy just doing such a fantastic job of playing defense. Yeah, I mean, like, his, his fourth column is, well, as soon as I say that, it, it was empty for a, a few turns there. Like eight. Oh no! That. Needed one more piece. Alright, Lucentai on tournament point. It's looking pretty, uh, looking old. A little bit of bees here. <laughs> Giving me Ajita. We're gonna get a really big red one. Juicy cashing in on the reds. And cashing in on his greens. Which isn't going to do much. It sounds like also keeping that fourth column pristine. It. Whoa! It decides games. Chain. Oh, and the column four isn't protected. Okay, Juicy is fighting back. Another double Luigi. Commentators curse on my side. I've been talking about how good their column four management has been all game, and then yeah, the, a couple of stray pokes just gave um, Lucentai such an awkward board. Yeah, real fat log there. Open 
got a lot of yellow. Oh, we broke that. A couple of yellow questions from the future. Both on the Do you see opting, opting to just to offset? The perfectly in sync voice lines. Juicy needs some crash gems and soon. Oh, gets the oh. does a brilliant job of using that fifth or that third column to uh, to chain into the fourth column to clear out those yellows. Oh, all these reds connected though. That's fifty damage. Danger, Danger yeah. The uh, going for the um, the landmaker. Danger noise. <laughs> Meanwhile, both of them got the blue structure going on on the right side of their board. But not really getting. Oh there. no! And ju oh, just, just oh. doesn't find the pieces. The crash yeah. gems are not there, and after playing on the back foot for so long, Lucentai is going to take it. Uh, GG's. Hard fought, but unfortunately it did not go your way, Juicy. It happens. Oh. Well, I just well do not fought. remember him oh. being that much of a rushdown demon. Like, goddamn. All right. Congratulations to Lu Sentai. With that match. We are done for the night, but before I let you go, let's take one more peek at our upcoming events for the next four weeks. Next Wednesday, we will gather up the red and the blue for Soul Dam, the reverse Othello style shared peace cue game. Uh, on July 31st, we are going to close out the month with Cascade Chain explosion bobble for august 7th we have big f in chat for magical drop f first <laughs> time anyone is ever gonna play this game ever basically so let's have some fun with it oh, 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 oh. and then on august 14th we have the fascinating conundrum that is unstack that i don't know anything about but hmm. it's it's apparently a treat i'll take i'll take juicy's word for it you can see where every single stench was spent <laughs> all 10 of them <laughs> all right it's and a with that game you can play yeah and with that Shoutouts to Juicy and Kayat for joining me on uh, commentary, and also shoutouts to Raspberry Floof and Note for doing match calling in the background. We saw some fantastic puzzle fights tonight. We did. We got to see the meta evolve a little bit, and that makes me very happy. The hit confirm meta. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to go raid DDR Dan. He's playing some Puyo's Puyo. And uh, if you happen to like Puyo's Puyo as well, um, check out Friday Night Puyo Puyo this week. Zan's doing it on the arcade board, which is a treat we really have not gotten to this point. So uh, check that out. We'll see you a little bit later. Bye, guys. Good night, everybody.